Hello. Recently, I got something really cool for the wind tunnel. The thing I don't love about it is this little arm right here. It's just, this is kind of where I want to mount it to be able to flex it and do different stuff, but that's not gonna happen right now. Uh, and I just recently got a 3D printer. I am going to design a 3D print to be able to like hold on here. But when it comes to 3D printing, I bought a 3D printer last weekend and I don't really know how to design stuff. And eventually I want to design a new laminar flow device for the for the front side of the wind tunnel and also the back side, way over here. But first I need to get better at Fusion 360. And so figuring out how this works, designing and printing something for here will help translate to be able to make this a little bit better with the tools provided for free that I have. So let's, uh, let's go design something and see if we can print it to make it work for this. Yeah. So after I took some measurements, I went over to Fusion 360 and started transferring those millimeters into the computer uh, to give me the basic shape of what I uh, am planning on building. And then I extrude it, which basically takes a two-dimensional print or measurements and you can make them three-dimensional. So for this one, I went for like 50 millimeters. Uh, and then after that, I was trying to figure out how to add a circle or a they also call them holes um, to be able to get around the radius of the bar and then I also chamfered it uh, to make it look nice and not have as sharp edges then put it in my slicer and printed it. It was really really easy. Once I positioned the bracket the way that I wanted it in the slicer uh, I think it just took an hour and like that we had a part that we could try out. Let me show you what we're working with. No uh, I didn't get it very centered but so far that may not matter. There's a little bit of flex in here. That may not matter. We'll find out. Let's see how we did here. Oh, oh boy, I'm excited. I may not have, well, this is gonna take forever. Okay, let's see. First, oh. Okay, tighten it up. Uh, because there's no force pushing against here, that when the gravity of this arm, all the weight's on it, it, it just it pushes it down first, but because of the, yee, 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 pushes it down first, but because of the gravity, it also pushes it back, which makes it false. So what we need to do is, I think what the easiest thing may be is kind of make it curve around here maybe, but that also sounds very difficult. Um, back to the drawing board. However, the fit is, uh, is real nice. Um, this now, if I have something here, that's not going to do the trick. I need something almost right side up, which almost makes me think that adding, like filling in the other part. So it needs to not come this way. How do I make it not go this way? Hmm. Let's go find out. This took a few times, but this is what I came up with. Basically the same first edition of putting it around the uh, radius of the handle, but then also adding a pin to the contraption. So that way it would kind of lock in there when I clamp it with uh, the, the light bracket thingy-majig. Okay, this is uh, version 3.1. Uh, and I feel like I learned quite a bit. Um, so with this one, with the first 3.0, what happened is it was too tall. Um, and so with 
this one, I made it a little bit shorter. And then I also realized um, that even if I was able to get this pin in there, uh, I can't because, or even if it was the right height, there's no way that I could get it in there because of like, of the, of the square thing, circle thing, whatever that is. <clears throat> so in this next in rendition, what I did is on the Creality slicer, you can uh, basically cut it in half. And so that's what I did. There's an option to put a dowel and you can make it as big or as small as you want. This thing, come on, focus, focus, focus. This thing is tiny and I was worried about losing it. So let's see, let's see if we actually made it shorter, first of all, and then it, because it's a square, and then this has a square hole, it should lock in just like that. Okay, perfect. It is, it's shorter. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it and see if we got something that'll work. Um, maybe not, maybe not. Goodness, come on. Oh no, that's not good. You see that little lip? That's not what we want. But honestly, it may, it may not matter all that much because if we put it, yes. Yes, it actually didn't matter. Uh, because what's gonna happen is, here, I'll take you a little bit closer to the action. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but like right in, right in here, it's pushing, this pin is pushing against, what's well, pushing, I guess it's keeping it close this way. And once we put this bracket on, it'll cover, it'll cover this up so it should yeah, look, I'm trying to turn it. It's not working, but it still slides this way. That's exactly what we want. So, okay, uh, moment of truth here. For some reason, my phone decided to overheat as soon as I said moment of truth. And I didn't realize it until way later. I've already put the light on the bracket and it works like decently well, I've tightened it down. Um, maybe just a little bit. Uh, I'll have to be careful. But I mean, I can hold it here and do this and do this. And uh, it holds it. I'm pretty excited because what this means now is that in my brain, I've unlocked how to design something in Fusion 360 and how to print it and have a better idea because what we're gonna work on next is the laminar flow device for the wind tunnel. So subscribe so you don't miss that and we will see you in the next one. Peace. So subscribe so you don't miss that and we'll see you in the next one.